everybody. Josh and I wanted to do a video where we showed off our Disney board, sort of a vacation board. There's more than just Disney on there, but it's mostly Disney stuff. Uh, they're just different mementos and memories that we put up on a cork board. We used to get pins. We had um, all of these different pieces of memorabilia that we had from the parks that we you know, brought with us as souvenirs. We didn't really have any place to put it. And then I saw online one time somebody talking about cork boards. If you like to get pins and you don't have anything to put them on, then you can get a cork board. And then we started using it to sort of uh, document our travels. So let me share some of these with you and Josh is gonna help me because he'll probably remember some stories better than I will. Here's the overall board. And you can see that it's just, you know, normal size cork board. You get various pieces and parts on it. We'll talk about most of what you see on here because there's a story behind almost everything here. It's kind of interesting. So uh, let me start in the upper right. So there's a picture of Josh and I. That says 2013, I think. Yes. And that was at Disneyland. And we were at the... Plaza Inn? Plaza Inn. I think that's what it's called there. It's at the end of Main Street on the right-hand side. We were doing breakfast there. And was this the breakfast where you were sick? I think it was. <laughs> yes. We had gone to the park at Rope Drop, but our... Uh, and we had ridden... It was Space uh, Mountain, like, Star three Tours. Time? No. Was it Space Mountain? Okay. It was Space Mountain after Star Tours. Maybe that's what yeah. it was. We, we rode either Space Mountain or Star Tours A few uh, too many times. multiple times, and uh, Josh's stomach got all bleh. So... Uh, we went to breakfast and he could barely eat anything yes. of the very expensive breakfast because it was also a um, it's an all character breakfast. Character breakfast. Yep. So it was fun, but and Josh looks very happy in that picture, but he um, not doing well. Was, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't doing well in that picture. And then if we move down here, you can see our Disney Cruise Line uh, um, postcard that we sent to ourselves. The funny thing about this <laughs> is that. So we filled out some postcards while we were on the ship, and we dropped them off at the Castaway Key we bought, post office. We bought Bahamian stamps, and every international Bahamian stamps, and we put them in there, and the postcards did not get to us for four months. Correct. We sent them in October. We got them in February. <laughs> we got them in, yeah, it was February. Um, and what was funny is our friends and family who we had sent them to got them in February also and thought we were on the cruise at that time. We're like, no, no, no. we sent these four months ago. Now, mind you, this was also into the pandemic and so we think we're not certain that the, pretty much the post office was not really being manned at the time or at the very least not regularly manned and probably not regularly taken care of so most likely since they we gone not long after the cruises restarted it probably didn't get shipped out yeah that, for that's our guess we could have probably give you know turned them in on the ship and they would have gotten there faster but yes i think it's a much more interesting story this way and uh, let's see, we have the I Traveled the World Showcase at Epcot. So <laughs> if, you, if you do the kids cot, where you go to each of the countries in the World Showcase you and you do their little sticker thing, at least during the pandemic, they just had stickers. They didn't yes. do the normal interactive stuff little they do. And everything, yeah. If you got all of them, then at the end of it, you could get a little postcard that says I Traveled the World. And that's what that postcard is. And I we only got that, did. I don't know, sometime. Within the last year, I'd say. I think. Yeah, Maybe a little over. very but recent. Not, but definitely within the last... Like 14, 14 to 16 months. Yep. Right next to it is uh, an old Fast Pass from Disneyland. Paper um, Fast Pass. Paper Fast Pass. Yep. This is from April. You can remove her if you need. Yeah, to. I'll remove her. Uh, April 2010 for Space Mountain. We probably just ended up leaving early that day and didn't want to stay till 8:55 or to 9:55 and we just walked away with it. A lot of times when we do that, if we're walking out with fast passes, we'll just give them to somebody who's somebody. walking in yeah. so that they have a little, uh, you know, something to look forward to. mom and son that Yeah, there was one time we, we had Space Absolutely. Mountain fast passes, not these ones, obviously, and we were walking out and we weren't planning on using them, so we gave them to uh, a, a mom, mom and a son. kid and they she were super ecstatic. excited about that. He, yeah. he didn't quite understand it, she totally understood it. Yep, and then we have the Minnie Mouse pin. That's, that's from New York. That's the yeah, the Disney store that's in Times Square. We specifically bought that signifying the Disney store in New York City. That was done on purpose. Yep, and that's why it has that little thing next to it that actually says Disney Store NYC yeah. official. So yeah, that's right from there. Um, that happily ever after is from our honeymoon. We honeymooned in Disney World together. We were no, we that went would not be from honeymoon then. That says Disneyland. Oh, duh. <laughs> well, then, when did we go? Oh, I guess that one time we... Probably, had... or probably just an anniversary. Yeah, we did have one of those from Disney World, but I guess there we didn't keep is... that one. Maybe it's around here somewhere? I don't know. Maybe it's with a, a hat? We have a... It's very... We have, know. like, a groom's hat with the date yeah. of our wedding, but um, 
that's in the room. It wouldn't obviously fit on here. Um, the 30 there with the Tinkerbell, that's from Disneyland Paris because it was their 30th anniversary. And I love that design because it's a 3-0 in the shape of a Mickey. And I just think Tinkerbell. that's brilliant. Whoever that was, designed that deserves a parade. That was just from our trip at the end of April of this year, 2022. And you can see that we occasionally have some pressed pennies. We're not big just pressed pennies three, people, on here, but um, there are some designs we like. Like I love Sorcerer <laughs> Mickey, so there's the pressed penny there with Sorcerer Mickey on it. Uh, speaking of 30th anniversary, right here is the Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary, <laughs> the dumb luck May 1st, anniversary. 2019. Yeah, Josh and I have a lot of luck. Like, we will just plan a trip around when we can go, right? Like, um, I have fairly regular weeks off yeah. during the year as a teacher, and I work all year round as an adjunct, and so I have fairly regular scheduling that we have worked around sometimes for holidays well for our holidays yeah so we just visit. so we plan trips when we can go not around any specific events but often when we go a specific event is happening like that you know the 30th them. anniversary we were there for yeah. that and jumping over here a little bit we were also there the day that star wars land opened in or galaxy's edge opened right. in um, yep. hollywood studios we didn't plan that nope. we just happened to be there and during we were, that time we were there at and so, 4 a.m 5 a.m oh, yeah. there's a video of that we were there at like three in the morning <laughs> we were not aware again line. that that was happening i happened to point it out to chris that while we were there the opening was and we said okay well we actually ended up taking an uber rather than waiting for the buses so that we could beat beat the people yeah from we the wanted resorts. to beat all the people from the resort but there were still a ton of people it worked in front out of us, but it was still it was still great go find that video it's it's pretty it fun to watch that would be i think it's um, is it august of 2019 uh, no, wasn't it? Like, what yeah, I think it, it was actually. Because this was May. I think that was August. Yeah, that so. was. So that's when that was. All right. So now uh, you can also see that we have pins like the Flower and Garden Festival, Walt Disney World, just pins that catch our attention. Or in the case of this one right here, this is because the very first year of the Festival of the Arts, they didn't have pins. Yep. All they had was stickers. So I saved one of them, put it away. Yeah, it was the first annual. They didn't know if it was going to catch first on. first inaugural, actually, because they got yeah. it right. Disney got it right. It's oh, that's right. Yeah, it's never first it's, annual. It's first inaugural. Yeah, Disney nailed it. I was and they very did proud of that. Right. I was like, they got it. <laughs> I know. I know <laughs> so, that makes so us very silly, pedantic nerds but about language, both but that, is, that is true. Um, so we have the sticker from that, and we ha we probably have other ones like stickers. Festivals that's one of the, of the few art. stickers, but there's definitely but, Festival of the Arts pins. And yeah, we have pins. Fla like flower and garden Pardon? there. There's is, a, a pin up here that is the uh, food and wine. There's another food and wine. And there's another food and wine down here. This is food and wine again. <laughs> there's a yeah. lot of food and wine. So we, we get pins to commemorate specific events. like events, and then we get magnets for our our refrigerator to signify different years or different locations so, let's so okay see. so let's move up so we also collect pins when we go and stay at different hotels right as sort of like a memento from the hotel so like there's the all-stars one there of which we've stayed at two of the all stars mm -hmm. movies and music we've never stayed we, at we sports the both, actually I was oh yeah, surprised yeah actually did. they're fine uh i don't mind them at all oh hey there's the plaza inn thing i think that we got yeah, that, that we got that picture together. absolutely those <laughs> yeah. two, that, that again. so those two oh, go boy. together <laughs> Sorry, it hangs up on the wall. It has, probably hasn't been dusty. dust in a while. We also have a festival of the holidays <laughs> up there, another fast pass. and another paper fast pass. Oswalds, because you're a big Oswald yeah, fan. Yeah, I'm a huge Oswald fan. Our, our, I was trying to say, <laughs> it was me. very early on in our stay that we went for the 45th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom, which we got a pin for. And now, of course, it's the 50th. And I, I, yeah, we have a pin for that over here. Get to that. Brown Derby, and the back of this is the grapefruit. Yeah, so we went. We, the first time we went to the Brown Derby, there Ooh. at the front, they actually had um, recipes, recipe cards. Yes, uh, they had one for their Cobb salad, and they had one for their famous grapefruit, grapefruit cake. cake. I, I grabbed one, which we've never had, but we did we get wanted, the Brown we Derby. We wanted it for the Brown Derby. Um, and there's a picture, of, or there's a pin of uh, Bob from. Um, Dude, the black, black hole. The black hole. Yeah. When I was a kid, we had HBO, and the black hole played all the time. And Love I loved that. it, but boy, it scared the heck out of me, that, that. that part at the end uh, where the bad guy's in hell. Very creepy. I think that was our, one of our first pins we did get. Yeah, the Walt Disney, Disney World, World I mean, for, from Disney World, Yeah, I don't World, have a I particular memory of that, but it looks like one of the ones we'd get. I think like, we the got that at the we same went. time we also got our Pop Century one that's over here. And you can see um, that we actually have some maps, too. Like, yeah. this map talks about the River of Light, because that's what's this going on when we went Disneyland there. Disneyland Fantasmic. This is the, the Disneyland Fantasmic one, Disneyland. which, controversially, we think the one in Disneyland is it's better, better. Um, than the one in Disney World, but you can debate us in the comments about that. That's Olga's Cantina. That is a... A coaster that I, yeah, <laughs> I sort of pilfered. From, I basically put down I mean, two of not them. Care, no, he but... put down two of them, and I literally just grabbed one, tucked it in my pocket, and when he turned around with my drink, he kind of looked around like, like where, where is, is the it? coaster? And he just put another one down, kept looking at me, and put my drink down, and I'm like, 
I don't know. Um, um, and then uh, Pandora, because it was one, our first time after that it opened, we yes, got one for that. Yes. Another place we stayed was Coronado Springs. Um, that was that was with our a friend our of ours, yep. uh, my best friend from high school. Yep. He's still my good friend today. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah. Dan. He uh, what is a DVC member. And, and he, he got us some enough. rooms at Coronado Springs uh, when we did a joint vacation together. He lives in Texas. It this, was uh, it was a lot of fun. This is from Halloween time in Disneyland. They were doing special desserts, and there was a special dessert over in New Orleans Square. I was in New Orleans say, Square? It, yeah. The, uh, at, I don't remember the name of the place. Yeah. It, yeah. It's the, the, the it's Juleps the quick service and, yeah. place. Yeah. That is the the mint, mint julep. That's connected to. Yeah. And I, oh, it's been so while since. Yeah. Been so long since we've so been there. So that was I got the dessert to get that essentially, and so that came out. We also got there's a couple of little pins floating around, and there's a Mickey over there, that are just little pins that were something like you know three or yeah, something like that this one. It was like dollars. five for like three dollars yeah, or something really like small. that. So that one too. And then there's yeah there's a Peter uh, Pan like the Peter one, Pan one, flight. There were just a number of them, and we thought oh those look fun. Yeah. So we nice to have. We got those. Those were in Disneyland. Shrunken um, Ned. <laughs> oh yeah. So in Disneyland, in Adventureland, right. uh, in one of the shops, they have the uh, shrunken head that you you put money into, and it essentially yeah, reads your fortune. Ned and what's, what's uh, the there's some here? vocals that it says, and it'll pop out this little card. Follow Shrunken Ned. Simple directions for a happy life. Take your best shot. Get a clue. Shake it, but don't break it. Wrap it up and take it. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. I can tell you. Who to sock it to and discontinue if itching persists. Persists. <laughs> we so, got that years ago yeah. and I saved it again. Uh, some of the stuff of had been. Oh, I'm lying. It wasn't Coronado Springs that we stayed at. It was Saratoga, oh, Saratoga Springs. Saratoga. We're Coronado. getting our string. Our, 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 we're getting our springs mixed yes, up. Yes, we are. Yeah, Coronado Springs was actually just about a year ago. Yeah, yes, that's We correct. stayed there. During the pandemic, yes. a lot of the hotels were the, much cheaper the than they would otherwise be. Were, so um, we took advantage of that on some times when, when we went and stayed at a few different ones that we'd otherwise never pay you know, $500 yeah. or $300 a night for. So Coronado Springs, we did on our own. It was Saratoga Springs that we did with friends. That was actually really nice. We got upgraded into a suite. That was um, wonderful. Oof, yeah, yeah, one bedroom. So was nice. it was very, very nice. And Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, Elliot. I'm a big fan of Phineas and Ferb. Yes, we both so, are. We yeah, both we both are. are. So we have that there. <laughs> Uh, Elliot, and because we, we actually both like Elliot, too, so we both remember. Yeah, from Pete's Dragon. Happy anniversary. Um, Again, this is a different one. I'm surprised. Disneyland, there's yeah. ha Happily Ever After and there's Happy Anniversary. Magic Kingdom, this was when they had Happily Ever After. Probably still my favorite, even more so than yeah. Wishes, which I know is controversial. I like, I like Happily Ever After. Uh, Bernard and, and Bianca, because Ms. I also Bianca. love the Rescuers. I have a funny story about the Rescuers. So, uh, I had never seen it, even though it was, I think it was out before I was born, like a year before I was born. Right around the um, But it, um, I, my parents had gone to a garage sale, and they got this big, like, big long playing record of the rescuers. So there was a narrator that was saying what was happening. It used uh, vocals and music from the movie. But I, I didn't watch the movie for years and years and years, not till I was much older, but I, I was in love with that record. And so to this day, it's one of my favorite uh, like uh, Disney movies from that era. They also got a record from, uh, it was Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Alice. And it had music from the movie, but it wasn't actually the music that was in the movie. It was like a different choir singing it, and it still had the stories behind it. So anyway, that's just a different aside. But let's Festival go back up here. Okay, so head up. Well, there's there's Pop Century from when we yeah, stayed there. That's the one we this stayed at mostly. Festival of the Arts. Pop I Century is our regular that place. That might be the very first Festival of the Arts. In fact, I'm certain it is, 2017. Yep. Uh, I'm a big Stitch guy. Yeah, so we just this. Did. Oh, that's one's wonderful. We yeah. did the Walk in Walt's Footsteps tour in Disneyland, yes. and then you can see that's what it says there. Yep, and, and it opens up. Yep, it opens up. And oh, 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 boy, that does not. It's a very heavy yeah, pin, so I've got to be careful with that one always. Yeah, so oh. that Walk in Walt's Footsteps tour was awesome because oh, we had yes. a tour guide who was taking us around, and then we it ended with us going up into Walt's apartment. Yes, above where, the fire station. That's yeah, right. above the fire station in Disneyland, where you could you know walk around a little bit. It was mostly like velvet roped off, yes. so you couldn't go everywhere. But we got to take a picture inside. I'm not sure where that picture is. It was digital, and it's probably I'm lost sure three computers ago. But um, we did have a picture of us in there at one point. But anyway, that we got that as as part of the tour. And uh, in Disneyland, I don't know if you can do this at Disney World. We haven't tried. tried it yet. No. But in Disneyland, if you go to the uh, riverboat, which is a Mark Twain there, and you say, "Hey, can I ride up with the pilot?" 
then they will let the you. Captain? At least they did oh, at the time. Oh, right. The captain or the pilot, whatever they call yeah, them, they that called runs it. Um, and we each and got so one. we go up there. We got to uh, ring the bell. Um, and I mean, the whole thing's on a track, so you're not really driving it. But so, it's still. But you get, go up there, they give you a certificate, you get to write your name in this book, so our name will always be there. So that's actually a really cool memory of that. And then, oh, this one's awesome. Everybody There's a two parter. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So we went when we um, went, I think one of the first times we second went. Time, second time, second time I'm we went. Sure it was second visit. It was, the year, it was the year of Million Dreams. <laughs> and second visit, I think we that ever was had. our park ticket when yep. we went, which is the old paper park tickets. We've but one of the things that years. was awesome that happened on that trip is we were getting off of the Winnie the Pooh ride. And there were some Disney cast members handing out these passes, the Disney Dream Passes. Um, Dream and, Fast Pass. And essentially what it was was like, you know, if you were getting off of it, they'd hand it to you. So Josh and I each got one. And um, those little tabs on the side are Fast Passes. Like, you could take those off and use them as a Fast Pass instead of a paper Fast Pass. Now, back then, though, however, this would be October 2nd. It was still a really quiet time. Yeah, it wasn't that busy. You can so see how many that we, like, we didn't have to use. We didn't have to use, yeah, and so we uh, kept We them. used, I think, one on the left-hand side. I don't remember what ride it was, but we did use either. it. But we didn't have to use it for the others because the weights weren't that bad. But, but anyway, that's a 2 still great to get one. it because we never got anything like that before since. And there's our Caribbean Beach Resort, which well, I think is probably, probably our, our favorite. favorite yeah. <laughs> Just Not only do we like the aesthetic, but we really like having access to the Skyliner. Right there, easily, on two different spots across the resort itself that you can hop on. And that was really wonderful to be able to get around. And then uh, our tags from the Disney Cruise Line for our bags. Another festival pin. Another, yeah, and I love this <laughs> one because it looks festival. like the old Schoolhouse Rock Yes, logo. it always reminds me of that too. Uh, speaking of tours, we talked about the Walk in Walt's Footsteps. There's also this key ghost, here. So ghost relations. We did a... It's up here too. Uh, like a haunted haunted Disney Disney what well, was like a Halloween Disney yeah. tour and yes. we thought it was going to be like creepy stories uh, about the park but it really turned out to just be factoids about the creepy the scary but, rides yeah and then like Halloween factoids stuff. about Halloween overall yeah, it was still fun it, it wasn't as very Disney themed yeah. as we'd like but we did get this key out of which it which is a, it says we ghost got relations one. yep and then this over here this thing says ghost relations on it but uh we got those two things out of it. Yeah, that actually opens up and has a little bit of info on it. And the Toy Story Land there just to sort of commemorate right. that. 50th. And there's, of course, our 50th yeah, anniversary for, for Disney World. Those are celebrating. Yep, celebrating. Oh, there's a zero down there because Josh is a big fan. Night number of, four Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then a pin for the... That is from our honeymoon. That is from July 4th. Oh, yeah. Of our I'm sorry. You're looking at, I was looking at the, yeah, the, I'm sorry, the, the flag holiday pin. pin. The flag pin, yeah. We, our very last day of our honeymoon was 4th of July. Yes. And they were handing out these flag pins. As you walked in. As you walked in the park. Again, saved one. So I everyone's don't know wearing there's them. two. But I saved one, kept it, and we did and There's it our yacht club pin. That was the only deluxe resort we have ever stayed in. Was the yacht club it was really? No, oh, oh, pool, the pool. We had a great time, and their pool there is like it's a little mini water park. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was super worth it. Um, Disney dollars. Many of you probably know what these are. They don't make them anymore, but there used to be Disney dollars that you could buy in the I park, have a few. and they were um, you could spend them for denominations. They had like one dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, and I think up to fifty. Maybe at least twenty. I don't know yeah, about that. It went, definitely went up to twenty. One of my favorite things about this is they were the best souvenirs. Oh, yes. Because for they were only a buck. I mean, how many other souvenirs from Disney can you get for a buck? <laughs> but you could get these for a buck, and then you can hand them out. And if they ever went to Disney or a Disney store, they could use them there. But, I mean, this is the one we kept for ourselves. Yes. But they even came in these nice, attractive little envelopes. And I kept and so, a couple for ourselves. So, anyway, I, I miss the I Disney dollars. In, I think they're pretty cool. I still well, have one in my wallet. Yeah, so do I. Josh and I both have one in our wallets for luck. It's beat up as heck, but... <laughs> um, this is from the Carthay Circle oh. in... Um, California, California Adventure. Adventure. Carthay Circle was where I had the <laughs> best roast beef I've ever had in my life. It was this pork roast beef. Or I, I'm sorry, that's roast beef. It was pork roast. Can't yes. be pork and beef at the same time. Pork roast. And it was honestly the best I've ever had. For the longest time, it was the best meal I'd ever had. It's a wonderful place beyond the the atmosphere and everything about it. It's. I remember also sitting there one time and we could hear the... The singers outside. Who were they? The, the newsboys. Oh, the news. Yeah, the, the newsies, newsies down there. We could actually hear them singing yeah. while we were sitting there, which was really kind of wonderful. If you've never been there, but you've been to Drown, Brown Derby, there, there's a similar aesthetic, except yes. that the Carthay Circle Theater Restaurant is a little bit more elegant. I, I would think. Agree with that, yes. Yeah. 
Uh, another fast pass. This one was from also from 2010. Yep. Uh, so that Big Thunder Mountain ride is still waiting for us. Obviously, a an annual pass holder. You can see that we one. used to go to Disneyland a lot because we have a lot of different Disneyland from pieces up here. Seven to fifteen. Two thousand seven to fifteen. We started going to Disney World, and know. then we ended up getting annual passes there. And so now it's better for us to go there because you know tickets are technically already paid for rather than going to Disneyland. But we are starting to miss it, so we'll have to figure that Maybe out sometime. But yeah, we'll get back there eventually. And then here's one of the few Universal things we have: a uh, Deathly Hallows. There's two. That's our original visit. And I think that was 07 or 08. I want to say 07, January. Oh, it, oh yeah, in, in, Holly, in, in Hollywood. Universal. Yeah, yeah Hollywood. in Hollywood, yeah. yeah. It was uh, 2008. And then this one... This is Orlando. Was Orlando, yeah. And, and I think that was our first visit there. Yeah, there's there. our um, Deathly yeah, Hallows. Deathly Hallows. Hades. And, yeah, I like Cars Hades, Land, too. that was the opening of Cars Land. I mean, that was Christmas time in Cars Land, either way. Yeah, we weren't there for the opening. No, but, but it was like that year that it opened, and it was Christmas time there. Right next to it is the Coca-Cola <laughs> Taste of the World. So can... if you go to the Coca-Cola store in um, Disney Springs, then you can get their Coca-Cola flight, where it has all of these different sodas from all over the world. Uh, you get two trays worth. It's very much like if you go to... Club, Club, Club cool. cool, and they have all those different flavors. Well, those flavors and more are yeah. the ones that we got. At least the old flavors. I, I don't know if they've changed it up since but they changed up Club Cool. Again, something we've held on to for exactly for many years now. And uh, there's another thing that we got uh, the keychain that says Chris on it. We thought about getting a Bort one, but we never had. Nope. If you've seen that episode of The Simpsons where they go to you get, get Scratchy Lands, then you're going to get the Bort. This is uh, Wine Country Tutoria. World of Color perfume viewing when we do dinner at the Yeah, Victoria. so we would do we would watch World of Color, which was their uh, nighttime show. I mean, I think it still is, but it's nighttime it is, show it's in fun. California Adventure. And we would usually do the dinner and a show. So we'd go to we'd pay a little bit extra. We'd go to dinner, and then we'd have a special viewing area, and that was just a great way to see it without having to wait in a long line. Yes. So we started doing that. 60th anniversary Disneyland pin, Festival of the Arts pin. This in particular is oh, yeah. <laughs> the Phantom Manor pin. This is the other pin that's from Disneyland Paris. Yeah. And <laughs> we bought it because probably out of both parks. Well, out of all the parks, Phantom Manor is my favorite. It, it may be our favorite ride, It's period. my favorite, yeah, Haunted Mansion style Absolutely ride. Absolutely for that. We, we may feel differently um, when we go to Tokyo. Tokyo. It's possible. D Tokyo Disneyland, but, but we'll see. And then just recently I found out this interesting fact. I was walking by it at night, and the moon area back here actually glows in the, in the dark. dark. Yeah. No idea until <laughs> yeah. just maybe two weeks ago. And so we're talking a good three months after we went, or a little less than three months, all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, what is that? And then I realized, sure enough, it glows in the dark. Kermit pin. There's a couple yeah, of press more, pennies at Disneyland one. I'm not sure. There's a Mickey Mouse press penny over there. I'm not sure what this one is. There's a, there's a uh, Darkwing Duck up there. Yeah, because I'm a big fan of Darkwing Duck. Oh, this is but. a Universal pe uh, Penny. That's oh, okay. This is. That's cool. Penny. I think so I there you go. That's our board. That's how we kind of keep our mementos and keepsakes. Um, I will go now and show you our refrigerator because <laughs> that's the other place we keep it. But it has to be a magnet for that, right? Like we can put pins on here, but we have to put magnets on the refrigerator. So let me take you over there. Our refrigerator is not just a Disney travel log. It's essentially a travel log of all the different places that we like to go. So you're going to see well, a number of things on we'll here. See. Locally, nationally, and now internationally. Yep, exactly. So it's a little bit of everything. So our first two Disney magnets that we got was this Mickey here and this Mickey here because I like the... Um, Sorcerer Mickey. Sorcerer Mickey. We always do. And I don't know why we didn't think to get a, a year but we didn't. magnet, but we didn't. We just got those two instead. And I think it's because when we went... We thought it was maybe once in a lifetime thing, so, right? Like we were going to so, go January '07, <laughs> and we, you know, we may never go set. again. That yeah. was before we really found our love for Disney. So it's something that sparked. It wasn't something that we had. Um, but anyway, those are the first two we got. But since then, in Disneyland, you can see we've got 2008, 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 15 14, was the last time. 14 twice because one matched and one was different. I don't know. We just fell in love with that one. Yeah. And so we had to buy it. And then one. that's when we, 15 was when we stopped going there. Yes. And then down here, we started going to Disney World. So there was some overlap, like 14, 2014 and 15. And 15. Yeah. That would then, be for our honeymoon. That was what 14 was for. Yeah, 14 was our honeymoon. And 15 was when it and started then, to become more normal of us. And then Florida. 16, 17, 18. 
19, 20, 21, and we need to get a 22. But we haven't seen it. Yeah, we didn't. We were there in January, and we were there in May, but we did not see any 2022. So I'll be really disappointed if we don't find one. Right. There's... Um, but moving back up here, we'll just kind of work our way down. So uh, for a while, we were members at the American Museum of Nature and Science. I'm sorry, no. The American Museum of Nature and Science is in New York. Yeah, this is the American Museum of Natural yeah. History. We have the Denver Museum of Natural History, which we do have a a magnet here somewhere for that but this one was actually in new york josh has a friend who works there yes, and we go and visit her every so often and there's just a disneyland uh, magnet okay. even though we've got plenty of the ones with the uh the dates on them we just something about that really appealed to us yeah that one did and then there's an epcot magnet that just has all the worlds on it or the, um, the, the worlds excuse me the countries in the world, world showcase, showcase is what i'm trying to say this is a disneyland 60. Yes. it's hard to tell but, but there's sort of a diamond, diamond pattern in that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the kind of diamond it. pattern, but it was for that. And then, of course, this, which is like the old style Disney the entrance, World which we sign. Pop Century, of course. The very first time we went there, we got that. Uh, Elitch Gardens is a local amusement park, and uh, we got a magnet the, uh, one of the times that we were there. You go about we, every couple of years. Yeah, we haven't been on a long, friend's birthday there. Every we haven't been October. in a really long time. It's been, it's been a good two to three, uh, three uh, because to four Because of the years. pandemic, it yeah. you know, wasn't running for a long time. And, of course, we go to Disney, so we don't need to go to the local parks. But, you know, there it is, and we do have a magnet from it. And then I went to Salem, Massachusetts one time, and I brought home a magnet from that. We have a very local event, which is a, a small train that they do a loop around the town called Georgetown. This oh, is, we have the Georgetown Loop. I forgot about this that. This is um, the Yeah, the Georgetown Loop uh, is interesting because essentially you just get on a train and you kind of do this loop up to another town. And the reason why there was a loop instead of straight up the mountain was the trains at the time couldn't haul the weight of the material that they were hauling, so they had to do it in sort of like a spiral, and that's why it's called the loop. But now it's just kind of a tourist trap. Huntington Museum. Huntington Gardens, yeah, in California. Yes. We went there. I know just looking at that, you we wouldn't necessarily nope, know. No, but we it. do. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> probably know Huntington Gardens because th there are shows that are shot oh, in yes. Los Angeles and Hollywood that often use that place as, um, you know, kind of outdoor area. And uh, if you look it up, Hudson Gardens, you'll see a whole list of different uh, scenes of TV shows and movies that were shot there. The Denver Botanic Gardens, we just got that one this past weekend. We were there. Uh, a friend of ours has an annual pass there, and she was able to bring us along, so we went wandering around there last Saturday. Uh, Denver Zoo, Josh and I are, n now we're zoo members, we just did that like a few weeks ago, yes. and we've been a couple of times, there's a video of our trip, um, if you want to check that out, but uh, we got, you know, magnet from there. And then we also have magnets for every show, or close to it, or almost every show yes. that we've seen either like locally or New York City like or in New York City and even yeah. one that's international that's true yeah because we enjoy location. like we enjoy local regional and oh, yes. national theater Absolutely. plus Broadway and we did go to the Shakespeare Globe when we were in England so that's another thing but Lion King was one of those that we actually saw here in town uh, as a national one Universal Studios of course we also have a Meow Wolf in town. It's one of three. One, one of three, three in yeah. The entire US. They opened it, I don't know, fairly recently. Within the last year or so, I'd yeah. say. Anyway, it's it's interesting sort of like art installation, yes. but it's also uh, hands on. It's it, Check it out. There's no description <laughs> that can do it justice. If you ever a chance to go to one, Santa you should. Santa Fe, Las, Ve uh, Las Vegas, and Denver. Those are yep. the three. That's it. And there's our Disneyland Paris mm -hmm. magnet. Uh, that's uh, still very fresh in our memories since it was only a few it's months very, ago. It's, it always I, me I how miss Paris. Downplayed as a like yeah. compared, everything else for the Disneyland and Disney World yeah, is super not, bright. It's not as shiny, and this one's definitely like more it. downplayed. Yeah, uh, this is us and our neighbor Emily. She's the one who actually took us to Botanic Gardens, and she's gone to the zoo with us before. Uh, we did this during Pride this year. Uh, Castaway Key from our cruise yep. got a magnet for that, and we also got a magnet for the ship itself. Um, I mean, it's not specifically the ship, but, you know, it was just a memento of the cruise. And then there's another Epcot. That's for food and wine. For food and wine. 20th anniversary, which is now yep. seven years old. <laughs> uh, Josh is a big fan of Aquaman, so we have an Aquaman magnet there. And then we have a, a picture of our cat uh, surrounded by a bunch of Disney cats. And what's funny is that behind this picture are other pictures. We trade them, we, out. We trade them out on occasion. Um, there is our London uh, magnet because you know we get one for every place that we go and uh, I think we got this one right next to the London Eye there's a little shop right there so I'm sure we played and paid in London Eye or not far from Big Ben because there was that place we also we got your gloves yeah. I'm not sure if we got both there though I'm not sure and um, there's a food and wine here that we thought was pretty cool because it tells you 
one cup is 48 teaspoons and it's eight ounces and it's 237 milliliters. So we thought this was kind of fun to get. Now, I think that was for the 25th. It was for the 25th anniversary. I don't, I don't know if I've ever used this. <laughs> we don't tend to measure. But, in, but yeah, we don't have to measure that specifically. No, very rarely. And so uh, then another, just another Disneyland magnet uh, and another Disneyland magnet. And uh, New Orleans, there's a, there's a video of this trip as well. Um, about three years ago? Yeah. 2019. Yes. Yeah. I had to go there for a work conference and Josh came out the weekend beforehand. We Wonderful ran around. Visit. Great visit. Royal Gorge is the highest suspension bridge in the world. You would know that better than and, I. And um, <laughs> essentially, it's a tourist trap. You know, you go up there, and but there's this fun. there's this bridge that goes across that's really high up and goes across. It is fun. Like, I mean, I'm not going to say that you wouldn't have fun if you went there, but it's you get diminished returns. It's not like it changes yes. all that much. Um, I hadn't been since I was a kid, and then we went a few years ago with friends, and it actually was a lot of fun. But they were rebuilding so after a fire, so it wasn't as open as it could be. Uh, so that was too bad, but uh, another magnet is from Café du Monde that was also in New Orleans. We got, and, got ourselves some beignets. Yep, big fan nope. there. <laughs> uh, Josh and I had a photo booth somewhere. Uh, that one... I'm not sure, Penny Arcade? I want to say Penny Arcade. Yeah, down in Colorado Springs there used to be this Penny Arcade. Are they still there, actually? Which is deceptive because, you know, games were more than a penny, but there were a lot of old-style video games that Josh and I grew up playing, so occasionally we'd go there and play if we were going down back down to the Springs to visit family. Uh, there's Ravenclaw, because I'm a Ravenclaw. The Josh is a Slytherin. So this is the rose window from... Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey. What I love about this magnet is, unless you know what it is, you don't really know what it is. Although I if it had said Westminster it. Abbey on it, I, I wouldn't have minded that. But anyway, that was a magnet from there to commemorate that. Another Aquaman thing. Uh, there's just our generic Paris, you know, the city of Paris. And I'm pretty sure we went to all of these places, because there was the Sac Sac Le Cour and Notre Dame, the Eiffel Tower... The Arc de Triomphe and Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. So we, we, we actually did go to all those places, Couldn't which is probably why we picked this. Probably because we magnet. had all those. No, actually, one. no. We picked this magnet the first day we were there, so we couldn't have known that we were going to do all <laughs> but of that we stuff. Did. <laughs> but we ended up doing it. There you go. And Josh is a Slytherin, so that's his one there. We got these at uh, Comic Con. Um, oh, we saw these already. But there's and the then Louvre. there's a the Louvre magnet from the Louvre Museum. The and then moving down here. A lot of theater stuff. Now. Yeah, it becomes less Disney, except for the very bottom where we keep our... <laughs> the pass holder magnets. Pass holder magnets down there. <laughs> but otherwise, it's a lot of shows that we've seen. A couple other things thrown in. Yeah. There's... Wicked. Uh, the British Spam Museum, Spam yeah. Spam Museum a lot. G-Train, which is from Brooklyn. Yeah. There's the... Rock, the oh, the Rockettes. Rockettes from eight, Christmas eight, time in eight, New York. 85th anniversary. Right. right. Yep. There's 9/11 Memorial, mm -hmm. Nova Scotia when you went. Yeah, I went to Nova Scotia for work. I went to yeah Nova Scotia for work, and uh, I got a magnet from there. Breckenridge, Colorado. We've been there a couple times. I did. I did a couple of presentations up there. One of my favorites. Trinity Church. Oh yeah, Trinity Church, which was down by, uh, no, down where, by where 9/11 happened, yes, uh, down by and, towers. It, and it survived. Like the big trees in front protected it from all the debris when the towers came down. It's an interesting story if you have a chance to go there and look. One of my favorite things we ever did was we saw Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen in Waiting for Godot. Oh. That is a very, very cherished memory of mine. <laughs> it was uh, very exciting to see them because I'm a huge Star Trek fan. I've always loved Patrick Stewart. I love him to this day. And I love Ian McKellen. And so it was wonderful. It was sort of an amazing once-in-a-lifetime event. Yeah. Period. And uh, this is the um, uh, Tower of London, which is kind of this part Tower down here. Bridge. And then Tower Bridge was that part there. When and we, we walked across we the We actually did both of those that things. It was really fun. And then Fan of the Opera, Curtains, one of my favorite, favorite musicals we've ever seen. Uh, Coney Island. <laughs> the only time we went down to Coney Island is just before we got married because yes, my like family came to... before, I saw were two days. Yeah, my family came down to uh, New York with us where we got married because it wasn't legal in Colorado at the time. And so we went to Coney Island because they all wanted to go. Uh, Kinky Boots, we saw that locally. Annie, we saw that on Broadway with Jane Lynch playing Mrs. Hannigan. Annie, yeah. Annie, yeah. Uh, Central Park, because we love going to Central Park, and of course, a, I Love New York. One Man, Two Governors, with which was James a Corden. play with James Corden before he was kind of like a big yep. star. This is this is what he came over. He was he did this show in London on the West End, and then he, they brought it over to America. Yep. And we saw him in that before he was a star. And uh, over here was the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library. My yes, stepfather and I took a trip to Boston, and that was there, so I got a magnet for it. The Oregon coast. I went to Oregon one time for, for work. work, and a co-worker of mine, during one of the weekends, drove out to the coast so we could actually see uh, these rocks here. You may recognize them from Goonies. 
<laughs> I'm a big Green Lantern fan. Josh is a big Stitch fan, another Disneyland one. <laughs> Josh is also a big fan of Masters of the Universe. So a friend got us this magnet. Uh, actually, I think we bought it, and then somebody got yes. it for us, too, because they knew that Josh would like it. But anyway, it's I Have the Flower. It's stuff I Have the Power. Avenue Q, which we've seen a number of times. Rocky Mountain yeah. National Park, which is not, which is about a couple hours away from us. Yeah, it's not that We've gone up there. Mostly we go to Estes Park, which yes. is the little um, town that's near it. Uh, another New York one. There's Newsies down there that well, we saw. that's the High Line. And then this is the High that's Line the yep. from uh, New York. It used to be an old elevated um, train. train, but now it's an elevated walkway. It's a lot of fun. If you're in New York City, you should go check it's it out. It's pretty fun. It's a hangout, yeah. Yeah, this was the um, Getty Museum mm -hmm. there. When we went, they uh, were having a drought in California, like they almost always are nowadays. Uh, so we didn't get to see like the water features like you see here, but it was still real nice to walk around through the gallery. Yeah, the Gutenberg that was a big Bible. Deal for me. And then Red Rocks, which is a local music venue. A um, well respected, nationally renowned music yeah. local music. Anything there nice. is pretty amazing. It is. But yeah, and then finally, way down here is Stonehenge. <laughs> we didn't go to Stonehenge when we were in. Well, this was a sh that's, that's in, uh, right. This was local. Yeah, this was local. It was at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. It was one of the traveling shows that they did, and so we went and saw it. It was an extra ticketed event. But yeah, so those are most of the places where we keep our Disney stuff that we get. <laughs> the pins go on the board, and the magnets go on the fridge, as well as other magnets from all over the world, so that we go to the refrigerator and remember all the fun times we had. And there you have it. <laughs> Those are some of the Disney things we have in the house. We don't have as many Disney things here as you would suspect from people who like Disney. Like over time it's popped up like that Disneyland Railroad poster up there. But there's a lot of other art that's not Disney that's all over the place in the house. And so um, if you came here you'd know that we liked Disney. But you wouldn't think we were like crazy Disney people that we are. But uh, thanks for joining us. Hope you found this interesting it was, uh, and uh, telling these kind of stories about how we got things uh, made me a little misty eyed because I still remember a lot of these very clearly like they were yesterday, like when we, d we drove the, uh, well, drove the Mark Twain. It's just an incredible memory that not a lot of people do. And it's hard to find an experience at a theme park that not everybody else shares with you. Um, and something like that, if you don't know about it, it's not advertised anywhere. You just had to know that you could do it. And so we did. Uh, although, like I said before, we've never tried it in Disney World. Maybe we should. Anyway, again, thanks for joining us, and I'll see you in our next video.